this Roger fellow is anti-farmer and pro-carbon tax was somewhat bizarre. I mean, who doesn't like farmers? When Lincoln Jay and I ventured out to Uxbridge, Ontario earlier this month to cover a carbon tax protest staged by local farmers, one of the demonstrators pulled me aside and said, keep your eyes open for that guy. He doesn't like us. Well, that guy turned out to be Roger Varley, who is a columnist for the local newspaper, the Uxbridge Cosmos. And I thought that this particular heads up by the farmer that this Roger fellow is anti-farmer and pro-carbon tax was somewhat bizarre. I mean, who doesn't like farmers? We all need to eat, and farmers are amongst the hardest working people in the world. And who, other than a hardcore and indoctrinated Justin Trudeau liberal supporter, wants more taxation? Because it puts more money in the pockets of uh, her family. That it actually delivers more while fighting climate change. So it helps with affordability and uh, it helps fight climate change. Well, the other day, the latest edition of the Uxbridge Cosmos came out and wow, it really is such a staggering periodical <laughs> for all the wrong reasons, of course. Sure enough, Mr. Varley expressed a low opinion of the farmers who had assembled in their tractors and trucks outside a local hockey rink. In his column entitled, Am I Wrong? Roger proves he is very wrong indeed by the mere appearance of the subtitle, which reads, quote, Give me freedom, give me a break, end quote. You know, anyone who is dismissive of freedom loses credibility in my book from the get-go. Freedom is the opposite of tyranny. And if Roger is on Team Tierney, then yes, sir, you are very, very wrong. In his lead paragraph, Roger seems to channel Jerry Seinfeld, quote, What is with protests in Canada of late? It seems that no matter what cause is being espoused, no matter what policy or issue is being protested, the shouts of freedom can be heard, end quote. Yeah, like, what's the deal with that? Well, maybe here's the deal. Most normal Canadians are fed up with being overtaxed, locked down, vaccine mandated, and more lately, increasingly censored. Maybe that's why freedom is being chanted. Of course, Roger doesn't touch on those other protests these past six months, such as the vile pro-Hamas demonstrations, where it isn't freedom, but genocide that is openly chanted. There is only one solution! There is only one solution! And they the revolution! And they the revolution! While freedom is perhaps the new F word for Roger, those espousing the extermination of the Jewish people is perhaps just a display of, oh, I don't know, uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. There is only one solution! Roger then goes on to defend Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who is often the target of the freedom protests, but is totally down with Team Hamas. Roger states, quote, It was also puerile for the protesters at the arena to gather around me and to declare that the Uxbridge Cosmos receives money from the feds, end quote. That statement isn't puerile. It's a matter of fact. Right on the homepage of the paper's website, one can find the following statement, quote, The Uxbridge Cosmos is a proud participant in the Local Journalism Initiative, a program that supports the creation of original civic journalism that covers the diverse needs of underserved communities across Canada, end quote. Yeah, the Uxbridge Cosmos, they're just not merely a recipient of Trudeau's periodical payola, but actually they're a proud recipient. What an obedient little trained seal and, you know, conflict of interest be damned, eh?
But it gets better, folks. And by that, I mean it gets increasingly unintentionally funny. Here goes, quote, But the protesters were not done there. The small knot of people gathered round me accused me of telling lies in my reporting and proudly pointed out that their gathering was also being covered by a reporter from Rebel News. If you don't know Rebel News, a visit to their website might enlighten you, especially the Make Canada Great Again t-shirts they hawk, end quote. Oh, merciful God in heaven! We want our dominion to achieve greatness again? A commodity that has gone down the sinkhole these past eight plus years, thanks to the scandal-plagued federal government in charge that Roger so lovingly adores? Give me a break! One last excerpt from Roger's word salad excrement, quote, As for the speakers, I was not impressed. Local farmer Ted Ng moaned about his inability to make money farming and how expensive it is to run his farm equipment. It made me wonder how many acres of land he could have worked with the fuel he used to drive down to Uxbridge in his tractor, end quote. Uh, folks, does it get any more sanctimonious than that? You know something? I was enormously impressed that there were people like Ted Eng in attendance. Ted is 71. He could sell his farm tomorrow for about $4 million and retire in comfort. But despite the hardships of farming today, Ted doesn't want to go to anywhere. He loves the land. He loves farming. He says he'll probably die on his farm. And all of us, including Roger Varley, should be enormously grateful for the Ted Ings of this nation. After all, no farmers, no food. Here, check out an excerpt from my interview with Ted Ing and ask yourselves, does this sound like somebody who's moaning? What motivates you to continue in the farming game? I love, I love the farm. I love the land. I love the air, what God given us, the sun, the rain, and the thing. I love it. And uh, my wife once said to me, you won't leave the farm. You'll die here. In the final analysis, and at the risk of coming across as being puerile, the unspoken strategy of Roger Varley could not be any more apparent. His constituency is not his readership, but rather his sugar daddy. Justin Trudeau pays the bills for the Uxbridge Cosmos. So just like the PM, Roger is pro-carbon tax and anti-farmer. Yet another example of a media watchdog devolving into one of Trudeau's little lapdogs. Money talks and ethics walk, I suppose. And wow, does my heart ache for the poor folks of Uxbridge that presumably want quality coverage of local issues because their hometown paper is yet another periodical that doesn't do much reporting in terms of telling the truth as opposed to serving as a propaganda arm for the Liberal Party of Canada. Well, folks, clearly Roger Varley and the Uxbridge Cosmos, it's just another example, isn't it, of a media outlet being paid off by the Justin Trudeau Liberals? Well, we don't receive a nickel of money from the federal government, nor would we accept such funding if offered. But we need your help. Please go to rebelfieldreports.com. That's rebelfieldreports.com. And kindly make a donation so that we can continue to bring you the other side of the story.